Hey, you guys. I want to tell you a little story about Farmer John, his daughter, and three guys who stalled out in a car one night. All right, here it goes, okay. Yeah, you listen too up there, douchebag. <laughs> I'll tell you the story too, asshole. All right, that's a maintenance guy, little guys. Don't pay no attention to him. He's a jerk off, but all right. All right, so here's the story. All right, there was three guys one night riding their car through the country, you know, and uh, their car stalled out. You know, they ran out of gas and shit. So, all right, so they went over to this farmer's house. You know, they knocked on the door. This guy, Farmer John, big fat guy with a big long beard. And, uh, hey, you got any extra gas and this and that? He's like, no, I don't, but you can spend the night here till the morning, you know. There's a gas station in town about a mile down the road that opens up first thing in the morning. So they said, oh, great. He's like, yeah, but whatever you do... Don't sleep with my daughter. She usually rolls in about 12 midnight. Any of you touch her, then you're going to have to deal with me. They're like, oh, no problem, sir, no problem. We ain't going to mess with your daughter, you know? So he's like, okay, well, see that barn out there? You just can all sleep out there. Uh, he gave them a few extra blankets so that they could sleep, blah, 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 blah. All right. So about 12 midnight, the daughter rolls home. You know, and she goes out in the barn... Sees these guys out there. So, you know what happens. They all wind up sleeping with her. <laughs> Not good. Because she went in and told her dad the next morning. Hey, daddy, by the way, I slept with every one of those guys. He went berserk. He's like, that's it. I can't believe this shit. So, he went out there. Right as they were leaving, he said, Hey, you guys, before you leave... Go out into the farm out there, into my farm. Pick out any 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 vegetables or fruits you want, and you can have them for your own. So they said, oh, thank you so much, sir. He's like, no problem. So, you know, they go out there, they're picking fruits, vegetables, whatever the fuck they were getting. But, uh, yeah. So, uh, you know, the one guy comes back, you know, he comes back with his basket. He goes, so former John said, hey, what'd you get for yourself, you know? He's like, oh, I picked me a thing of strawberries. So next thing you know, he pulls his gun out on him. He goes, yeah? He goes, you slept with my daughter last night, huh? The guy's like, Mama, please, she came on to me, sir. He goes, I don't give a shit. Get over there and start shoving them strawberries up your ass, or I'm going to put a bullet in your brain. And so the guy's like, oh, my God. So he goes over the corner and starts shoving strawberries up his ass. So next thing you know, his other buddy, he comes back with a thing of grapes, you know? That wasn't too bad. <laughs> Go figure, right? All right. So same thing, you know, and the farmer, get over the corner, start shoving them grapes up your ass. <laughs> you know, next thing you know, the two guys bust out laughing. I mean, laughing their asses off. One shoving strawberries up his ass, the other shoving grapes up his ass. So the farmer's thinking like, what the fuck is so funny, you know? So he asked him, he's like, what the hell is so funny, you guys? They're like, oh my God, look at that. Tommy's out there picking watermelons. Oh! <laughs>